Have you ever had one of those days that you wish you could uh, take back or never have or that nightmare scenario that comes true? I know this sounds a little bit um, dramatic, but I'm telling you guys, my worst nightmare came through last weekend. And uh, <clears throat> so Friday, I was out all day. I came home. Came up here to, uh, you know, I don't know what I was going to do. I was going to either watch some Amazon or play some games or something. And my computer, I wiggled my mouse and my computer was like locked up. And it it never does that. So I thought, oh, whatever. Maybe it was an update or something went whack. So I had to hard reset it. And then it like crashed. It blue screened. And then it did some, cra it was going nuts. But it would not boot up. Now listen, when I built this computer in 2014... I had two jobs. A month. I was working hard and I was making good money, you know, because I was working hard and two jobs. So I thought, you know what? I need a really kick butt computer to do what I'm doing to not only to play video games, but to record them, to render and stream and do a lot of this stuff, host servers all at the same time. So I wanted a, a really, really good system. And at that time, you know, like I said, working hard, making some good money. I went ahead and invested in a computer. I, I, you know, over the years, I added to it with more and more like SSD drives. But I'm telling you guys, I probably had between eight, eight and ten thousand dollars in this computer. And my nightmare scenario started popping up into my head around 2017, 18, 19, because computers getting a little bit long in the tooth. And now I'm not in that same position to be able to build some beast mode computer, but I've gotten, you know, used to using this type of computer, one that I can render 4K videos pretty fast, one that I can blaze through long one hour episodes of playthroughs really fast, one that I can play, record and stream all at the same time. You know, with, with like no worries in the world because I love getting that quality passed on without having to, you know, sacrifice on quality. Well, turned out the nightmare, the computer's down. I have no idea what the heck's wrong. So this was Friday about 5 p.m. And I was up till 4 in the morning and then all day Saturday. Finally, you know, I, I pulled them out. I pulled out my computer and I have my backup, not my backup, but my another computer here that I built, built before that one that I use as a secondary. I just like having two computers rather than two monitors. It makes it a lot easier to search for things. So it turns out, hopefully, hopefully only this, but it turns out that my graphics card, my GPU, which is a Titan. Now this is the first generation Titan, which came out, which I bought in 2014 and this bad boy i want to say it was a good thousand dollars which is ridiculous <laughs> but look at the size of it look how big it is right uh it's a geforce gtx titan from nvidia and it it just it's a powerhouse it did everything i wanted so what I was able to do was to get the computer out, set it right back here on the desk, set this other computer here. And I, at first I thought it would might be the power supply, but I didn't have a power supply. Now that I, you know, I live in Arizona, I can't just go down the street and get a power supply. So I was going to try and swap them, but this is an 860. That's a 1200. The pins are different. So I took a chance. I pulled out the graphics card. I put in the graphics card out of this computer, which has... It's got also a motherboard with dedicated graphics. So you don't have to have a card in there to run it. Put it in there. I booted it up from up here and it, it came on. And it was acting weird. So actually needed to reset it again. And it came on. And it's been working since then. So Saturday night I played some Star Wars Sunday, I played with my Guns for Hire for our You Always Win stuff. And then today, it's nighttime now, but today I actually stream, played and streamed with this old video card. And it's it's performing good. It's a trooper. It's an old, old card. It's a 900 series NVIDIA card that tells you anything, how old that thing is. Um, so hopefully I didn't, 
whatever whatever happened in this, whatever happened in this was greatly affecting the system. It just didn't knock out my video. It was it was shorting power which the way I have the CPU overclocked, you cannot have any variations in voltages, currents, nothing. So the system was freaking out. So just in case I ordered on Amazon, I did get this. Now this is exactly the power supply that I have in there. The AX1200i from uh, Corsair. It's a really good modular uh, digital uh, power supply. And it's funny, after all these years, they still have the exact same model number. I looked on their website to make sure that it was still the most current. They have an HX, but this, this AX1200i is still, from what I could tell, the best one that they've got. Now, I got this just in case. Now, I'm probably gonna swap it out. I gotta get a new video card, but I don't know what to do yet. And already, today's stream, I had some people donating money to help out, and I'm so grateful. I, you know, I had uh, Oso Cali and Guru Dude and Call Me Mr. Prez and, and uh, was it Grandmaster Matt dropped a hundred? It was so cool that they did that because I feel bad about it, but you know, things just aren't the way they, they used to be. And you know, it kind of goes into like a little bit, there's a lot of stuff going on with YouTube right now behind, I don't know if it's behind the scenes or not, but they're having us, you know, whoever does this stuff, reclassify all their videos, all of our videos, based off of a new federal law or a federal law that's going on in the United States about is your video um, specifically for kids? Is it is it aimed at kids? And I'm 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 like that's so weird. I no, I don't make like like Lego or what. Well, I don't know what a video would be, but my. All my videos are family friendly, they're kid friendly, but I have to classify them as no, they're not made for kids. That's specifically what it says, not made for kids. What does that mean to you? You know what that's gonna mean? It's gonna mean they're gonna age gate my videos, which they're gonna get even crappier views. And right now, I can tell by like me going on YouTube, like what it recommends, it's recommending stuff that I have no idea what it is, who they are, why it would recommend this. It's not even in like a genre of something that I would watch. That means that my videos aren't getting recommended to the people like you guys or the people who would want to watch something that I produce. That's a scary feeling. That's the part that you are completely out of your control. You can't control what they do. As far as recommending, I'm telling you guys, it's all about that. If you see a channel exploding, it's just because they got in the algorithm somehow and they're being recommended. That's why they blow up with views and subs. It's not, there's so many channels out there that are great, professional, great content that are going nowhere. And some you see explode, you're like, well, that's because they're good. No, it's because of the algorithm. So that, all that going on, on top of this computer going down, it just, I know it probably sounds weird, but it's, you know, this is my main tool for what I do. This is my, this is my work truck. You know what I mean? This is my UPS delivery van. This is my, this is my 7-Eleven. This is, you know, you see what I'm getting at? Whatever your major thing is to do, to, that you use to do your job and make money, that is what this is for me. And because of the position I'm in now, it's just, it's like, I'm, you know, I just bought a truck. You guys know that I've, I've made a video about that and I needed a truck, but that puts you back. You know, you gotta, I sold vehicles. I sold a house. I, I sold a lot of stuff, but I still had to come out of pocket. And anytime you come out of pocket, it's going to put you in a bind. Everyone knows what that feels like. So I'm just, what I'm trying to do is pass on this feeling of stress. And it may seem like, yeah, there's, of course, there's a million things bigger going on in the world. And probably in a lot of your guys' lives, but I want to share with you this, this, you know, at first I thought I was going to be mad. I was never mad. I never felt rage. I felt almost, um, something that I don't normally feel like I, it's so, it's so strange to me that I don't even know how to describe it. Despair almost like helplessness. And I'm never like that, but Let's just hope that if it was only the graphics card, I can, you know, like I said, some people have already helped out when I was live streaming. And, uh, you know, that's the thing these days. I've always felt weird about that. But, you know, every major channel, 
And a lot of people that are making a lot of money off YouTube, they have Patreon set up, they have these Twitch channels that are just pumping in money, even though they're still being paid a lot of money. And I guess maybe I'm maybe I'm old fashioned. I, I, I shouldn't feel guilty. Like maybe I should have this stuff. Maybe I'm just being a bad business person saying, yeah, I work a lot. I provide you know, entertaining stuff, should I be doing that like everybody else does? It's like, I'm the only one not doing it, yet I still feel weird about it. But I'm so thankful when people do that for me. Let me just end off here by saying that um, some of the other things that changed with YouTube is there's just like a million people doing playthroughs now. So I've got, I'm playing Star Wars. I still have a couple other things I need to finish. I want to finish, which is the Outer Worlds. I got to finish the campaign of Call of Duty, but I'm not going to get in this huge hurry. You know, I'm not looking to race to beat someone else out. I'm, I don't care what other people are doing. I only care about what I'm doing and what I share with you guys. So I'm going to try and make sure that I make, you know, continue to make good, entertaining stuff for you guys, but I'm, I'm not going to worry about, oh my God, I have to hurry up and finish that before I do this. And because whenever I do that, it always ends up like, you're, you're in that time of year and there's no games released and you're like, wow, I wish I didn't plow through the last five games that dropped. Like this weird competitiveness, everyone's plowing through these games and everyone's like just destroying the internet with the amount of content. You know, <laughs> I never thought I would say it, but I kind of miss the good old days when, you know, there wasn't as many people doing it. And there wasn't as many people doing the same thing. Everyone was doing all these different things and they kind of, kind of like migrated over into doing playthroughs. Like there was a lot of Call of Duty channels with very specific to games, but they all kind of came in here. Why? Because it's fun, right? I've been doing it from day one and I've known single player stuff and sharing that and your character, your personality while playing the game and sharing that with other people. It's a ton of fun. That's why it's so popular right now. So I am going to finish them. You know, hopefully you guys will support Star Wars. Keep supporting the Outer Worlds because I still got about probably half that game to play. And it's fun. It's fun. You know, I'm going to probably bring back some older series too. Like, Ooh, I really want to play some fallout, but people have been talking about fallout and Bioshock. And these are the games I just love. Well, it remains to be seen. I am going to finish these games first, but I wanted to share with you guys this. It's almost like I just needed somebody to talk to, right? Because I thought I was going to go crazy. You know, what's even stranger because I don't turn these computers off, right? They're always running, doing stuff. It was so quiet in here that Friday night while I'm in here like working on it. I got my little, I got my little screwdriver out, you know, I'm like, ee, 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 ee. but there's no fan sound. There's no music playing. Like if I'm doing something, maybe I'll, I'll have usually Amazon on just playing a movie while I'm working. Cause I get nice big desk to work on these sides. No music playing, no movies playing, no fan noise, no nothing. And that was like eerie because it was like totally quiet. Two, three, four o'clock in the morning. Finally, I just went to sleep. And um, yeah, so that's how my weekend went. You know, usually when people ask, hey, how was your weekend? I'm like, it was great. I went out, you know, went out in the forest, did some off-roading, just chilled, whatever. But this one was a bad one for me. But it's, hopefully it doesn't turn out to, to be too bad. Honestly, if it's just this... I'm going to miss the old Titan. You know, I can't, I can't get another Titan because nowadays the actually the RTX Titan, I think is over $2,000, but there's so many other great graphics cards for a lot less. I just need to make sure I'm able to do what I need to do with, it's not just like, if you look up, what's the best card for gaming? It's not like that with me. This card here was just as good as the best gaming card, but it wasn't the best gaming card. This was better for deeper stuff like editing, rendering, photo editing, all that other stuff that goes along kind of with being a YouTube type of person. And anyone who does YouTube shouldn't just look at best gaming. It should be kind of overall. But they, the newer graphics cards, they're pretty powerful in all aspects. So I'm hoping to, uh, I'm going to be doing some research for the next couple of days. I'm just hoping this thing keeps up. And if it does, great. Because I want to I'd love to step up to the next level of quality, you know, 1440, maybe even 4K. I do 4K videos on my vlog channel and it's a lot of fun. I still don't think it's here to stay yet, but it's on the way. 
but I would love to get that quality of gaming in there for you guys. Cause it just, if I could show you how awesome it looks on my screen, oh, that would be so good. All right, you guys, I hope this came out. I mean, hope it came out okay. You guys understand what I was talking about. Um, but yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching everybody.